the visual dial plan for asterisks. Visual Dial Plan is modern rapid application development platform for Asterix Dial Plan development. After starting the application, you will be presented with a quick start window that offers you to start new dial plan, to continue work on an existing dial plan, or to choose from included samples. This is the main window. Main window is the primary access point to all the Asterix Dial Plan elements. By default, it opens with the context view. In the center of this view, we have a list of all the contexts used in this dial plan. By clicking on the left side icons, you can switch this view to macros view, variables list view, or asterisk server configuration view. This view is especially interesting when building the dial plan because here you can view all the asterisk server configuration objects needed for the dial plan development. Note that you should first define the connection to your asterisk server in order to access this view. Now, let's see how to create a new context. Right-click on the working area, select a new option, and type in the context name and short description. The context editor appears and we can start modeling the call flow. The editor consists of the following three parts. The component toolbar, the visual modeling area, and the information area. Visual Dial Plan comes with large component library. Components or building blocks are organized into categories based on its functionality. Available categories are Entry category with the extensions related components, variables category containing components responsible for assigning values, call flow category with components responsible for call flow manipulation, and many more categories and components. Each and every asterisk dial plan application is represented with the corresponding visual dial plan component and performs single specific task as defined by the asterisk. The visual modeling area in the center is the main working area for assembling the context. You can build the context by moving building blocks to the modeling area from the component toolbar and by connecting them together. Click on the output port of the building block and drag the connection line to the input port of the another building block you want to connect with. Let's repeat this once again. Click on the building block on the component toolbar and then click on the visual modeling area to place the component in the context. And do the same for one more block. Now, let's connect the components by clicking on the component output port. Then drag and drop the connection line to the other component input port. You can also double click on the component to see what data you can feed the component with and that way define its behavior. The listed objects given in blue are read from the asterisk server configuration files. And you also have in detail help page for each and every building block. The information area appears across the button on the design panel and displays more information about the highlighted building block. In case the building block is not connected or configured properly, information about the problem with the block will be presented here in red color. Let's demonstrate this. First, we will close this context. And now we will instruct validation engine to check the dial plan. In red color are listed contexts with some errors or warnings. Let's open this one. And here are the details. Visual Dial Plan checked all the contexts and macros to see if there are any configuration or connection errors and reported all the errors here in the info area. It seems one configuration object is missing or not typed properly, so let's fix it. Let's check the dial plan again. 
OK, there are no errors this time. And let's show you one more thing. The code building engine is working all the time in the background, so if you are familiar with the traditional asterisk dial plan code, you can always check the traditional code that is generated based on the selected component. Similar information about the building block will be presented if you position the cursor over the building block. Now let's see how to deploy the dial plan. No matter if you're deploying to your local asterisk server or remote server, the deployment process is just one click away. Simply click on the deploy button and the extensions.com file will be deployed to the selected asterisk server. Visual Dial Plan comes with the SSH client that does all the job behind the scene. And here is the generated extensions.com file we just deployed to the asterisk server. The last thing we want to show you in this short demo is the handy export feature. This functionality will export graphical presentation of the context to the image file on your local file system. It can be very helpful when communicating the call flow with others. Visual Dial Plan comes with many more handy features, but you will have to discover it on your own. Thank you for watching this demo and feel free to download trial version of Visual Dial Plan from our website and discover how easy as to dial plan development can be. www.appstool.com